Thanks for checking out this video. Today's video, we'll be discussing how to bind and insert your references into your current drawings. As a recap, when references are first inserted, they're not counted in the drawing database of your current draft. That said, DraftSite gives you the option to import your references into your current drawing as a block entity. The best part is that they're super easy to convert. Just select your reference in the Reference Properties palette and then right click. Next, choose Bind and you'll be prompted with an Insert Reference window with two insertion options. Bind and Insert. If you choose Bind, your reference will transform into a block entity in your current drawing. And the layers, line styles, text styles, and dimension styles of your reference drawing's file will all be incorporated into your current drawing with unique names. More specifically, the names will start with a block name, dollar sign, and dollar sign prefix. Where block name is the name of the reference and n is a number starting at zero. Whereas if you choose insert, your reference will also be converted into a block entity. But DraftSite will not add prefixes to your line style, text style, or dimension style names. Once you've chosen to either bind or insert your reference, just press OK, and your reference will now be considered a block entity and you can insert as many as you'd like by pressing the insert block icon and specifying its designated name per usual. So I hope this post encourages you to do more with your DraftSite experience. If you're looking to learn more, visit the blog page or visit DraftSite.com.